road again. Here we go again. We're gonna move on to the next uh, venue. If you want to ride the bus with us, that's not the glamour side of things because you know we're gonna pack up our bags, get to the next city, get ready, take a quick nap, and boom, go out. And, but it's so easy when you love the sport. It's our eighth game in eight days. Nine games in nine days. Ten games in ten nights. It's more than I played when I was in the NHL. And uh, yeah, I'm tired. You're not yawning, are you? Yeah. You can't be yawning. How do you feel after nine games, though? Well, I usually play ten, so it's nothing. Tired and ready to go home. The travel is pretty tough. Horrendous travel schedule. I don't think they look at a map. We got our bus driver, he's doing a good job. That one bus trip from Grand Prairie to Fort Mac is about nine hours. Oh, thank God for Celebrex. You get a good opportunity to know a lot about the guys you're with. And, and that's probably the most fun about the tour, is to hear stories from other guys. That's what uh, you do in those five or nine hour bus trips. Sweetie comes around the corner, we get going on the ice, and the guy just taps him like this, and Sweetie just goes, what? <laughs> Two-handed this kid. But you know what, our guys after that learn. Ontario's done. Look out the west. This tour out west, it, it takes a good old westerner to do it. Vancouver, welcome to We've probably traveled to every city in the last 10, 12 years I've been doing this all across Canada. Saskatchewan, Manitoba, the Red Deer, Prince Albert. Grand Prairie to me is one of my favorite cities. Fort McMurray is such a great hockey town. I really like going up north, like to the Inuvik, the Tukyuktuks, the Yellowknife, the White Horses. You see how they live and how their culture is. We don't want to forget about that part of the country, you know, that's still Canada up there. I was bad in geography, but by traveling all these different little places, now I know my geography pretty good. This, this game's a fabric of our country. And, uh, uh, it's no clearer when you go to these small towns. It's front and center right there. I grew up in a small town about two and a half hours north of Toronto, so I know what it's like for uh, NHL players to come to a small town. They really enjoy it. And the people, you know, they see you on television. You're almost like a rock star sometimes. Hockey, hockey, hockey. And, uh, just to be appreciated that much is a, a, a very, very, very nice feeling. Getting into those little towns, those little cities, reconnecting and letting them know, that, you know what, we're barnstorming here a little bit, but we're also selling the game. And it's kind of Canada's greatest gift to the world. And we can't forget about our own backyard. It's, it's great. You get to travel this whole country and, and, and play the game you love. I mean, how do you beat it?